following is a presentation of the National Sim Racing League of America. Enjoy the race. Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and this is race number five in season number three of the Enter the Way Hers Dash series. Yes, this series is now back, and uh, been on the Enter the Way Discord, you know that uh, we will finish this series out in the summer so that we can do the Napa Truck series and the Arca Racing series over the fall. And uh, those two series uh, really enjoyed last fall, so we'll do them again. So uh, that's why I'm just pushing this up, shortening the schedule. This is race five of nine. And after this race, there will only be four races left in the season. But we're here at the Pocono Raceway for the Turkey Hill 150. A 12 lap race from this two and a half mile speedway in Long Pine to Pennsylvania and Justin Heath, our defending champion, starts on the pole position for today's event. This is how they line up in the points. Isaac Redman is the points leader. Five points behind him, it's Keyshawn Richardson. Bruno DeBarros is 10 points behind. Isaac Nichols is 12 points behind. And Derek Campbell is 15 points behind coming into today's event. The last race is at Texas. That was about... Uh, Oh, I say three, four weeks ago. It's been a while for these guys in the Hers Dash series. Of course, we did say that we were going to postpone the series to the fall, but uh, we decided to bring it back, so uh, here we are. And uh, last winner was Travis Crampton getting his first career Napa fan win there at Texas, so we'll uh, have to see how he does along with the rest of the field. It is Justin Heath in the number 38. On the pole position alongside him, Igor Barreto in the 33. Through number two, we see Gatlin Downey alongside the 31 machine. Car is, I believe, that's the longest I've done this series. Let me get the list. That car driven by Isaac Redmond, our points leader. I don't even know the car the points leader drives anymore. What is my problem? Number 18, Landon Lyons alongside Eli Bright in the number 15. Then we have the number 9 of Adam Lewis alongside the 99 of Nicholas Wade. Yes, that is Nicholas Wade. Then we got the number four machine of Matthew Phillips alongside the double zero of Diego Yepes, still going for his first career Napa fan win. And uh, we'll have to see what he can do. I mean, even the pole setter Justin Heath is still going for his first career Napa fan win. And he's starting in a pretty good position here at a place like Pocono. Passing is very possible, but uh, it's hard to win a race from deep in the field here. One of the places I really like where they get spread out, they don't pack race, and it's not ultra predictable. So for the most part, we're going to get a pretty good 12-lap event here today. And of course, um, earlier today, we had qualifying in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. Actually, wait, no. I, I think this race is actually going up on Thursday. It is. I know I said yesterday with the uh, Rockstar Pro Series that there wasn't going to be anything today. Well, I'm wrong about that. Uh, we got this race. So, uh, yeah. Happy Thursday, everybody. We're probably at Six Flags while you guys are watching this right now. So, yeah. Justin Heath and the 33 of Igor Barreto side by side for the start of the Turkey Hill 150. <clears throat> and down in the turn number one they go. Barreto a little wide off the corner. That'll give way to Justin Heath, clearing him down the long pond straight away. Here comes Gatlin Downey in the 83, looking to slipstream the 38 and try to get around him. Number 18 is here as well. That car driven by Landon Lyons and the 9 machine up here of Adam Lewis. They remain single file throughout the top four. Adam Lewis won the truck race here which was a 12-lap event as well last fall, so he knows how to get it done at this racetrack, and right now running in the fourth position, a pretty good spot to be in right now. You see Barreto stuck in the outside lane right here, and uh, he's not getting much going for him up there. 
at the moment. But lap one led by Justin Heath. Here comes Landon Lyons for second on Gatlin Downey. Xander turn number one. The number 18 will take it away from the 83 as Justin Heath continues to lead here in the Turkey Hill 150 at Pocono. Adam Lewis, Matthew Phillips round out the top five. Nicholas Wade, here comes Steve Morgan in the 87. Really haven't talked about him too much this season, but uh, here he is on the inside. Our Iowa winner, Derek Camels, back in there. And down he got stuck in that outside lane, and he's going to fall back here as Adam Lewis and the four of Matthew Phillips get around him for third and fourth place. Landon Lyons is all over the back bumper of Justin Heath right now. But Justin Heath holding on to the top position. And he will come out at turn number three, and he will lead lap number two here at Pocono. But Lyons is going to dive to the inside. And as they enter turn number one, I believe we're going to get a new leader here on lap three. Landon Lyons to the inside of Justin Heath. Will he take it away, or will Heath get the run on the outside? It will be the 18. And Adam Lewis right back here in the number nine. Right behind the 18, looking to draft him down the long pond straight away. So I mentioned, you know, I'm going to be at Six Flags today. This race is actually once in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series, the Six Flags 400. So, uh, kind of interesting right there. But, uh, yeah. Probably wish you were at Six Flags too. <laughs> but hey, you know what? We got a good race here. We might go three wide. Now about Nicholas Wade putting Justin Heath on the outside lane. That is not good at all for Justin Heath. He's going to fall back. Matthew Phillips as well as Landon Lyons. Got that lap to work out very well for him. He's up to the top position on lap 3 of 12. Here comes Nicholas Wade on the inside of Adam Lewis and Justin Heath. They're going to go three wide into turn number one. I think it's the first time we've seen this all day here at Pocono. These guys going three wide like this. And Justin Heath has nowhere to go. After starting on the pole here today, Gatlin Downey moving his way back on the inside. You got... Uh, Derek Camel in the number 14 alongside of the double zero there of Diego Yepes. These guys better be careful because if they're not, they're going to crash. And Yepes is out of the inside, three wide of Adam Lewis and Justin Heath. Lewis and Heath have been side by side for a while here, and uh, they're not really uh, coming off each other right there, but they're going to figure it out, fan it back down to two wide. Those guys are going to fall back. And with all that battling that happened for second place, Landon Lyons able to pull away. I don't think Lions has ever won before in Napa Fan, and lately we've gotten a lot of first-time winners here on the channel. I mean, we had uh, Igor Barreto win his first race in the IndyCar Series, Travis Crampton, Jonathan Wallach, all on that Texas weekend. And uh, yesterday we had Gratton win the Rockstar Pro Series race, so he definitely was not a first-time winner there. But uh, we still, I mean, we got a lot of guys who are uh, going for their first career win in this series. And that's the cool thing about this series is that these guys, you know, not many of them have too many wins on the channel. As a matter of fact, I think the most out of any of these guys um, might be Isaac Nichols because I think he has five wins. Oh, boy. Redmond and the number 11 of Colton Yo almost got into it there. That's our points leader, Isaac Redman, and way up high is Agar Barreto. He got shuffled at a line like crazy through turn three, and he stuck out there three wide. As the 22 moves to the inside, Ashlyn Boyd on the 11 of Colton Yo and the 33 of Agar Barreto, but he might not get it. And he won't. Yo's going to clear the 22 as Boyd could not get that inside lane the stick back to the point. It is now Derek Hamill trying to chase down the 18 with Diego Yepes. Gatlin Downey and Adam Lewis, the top five. Eli Bright. I think Eli Bright still only won one race on Apophan. And that was uh, race number 499 that we did. And oh my! Nicholas Wade slid right into him in the number 99. Almost got the 15 spun around. But fortunately, that did not happen. And we remain green. We're closing in on the point of the race where if we do get a caution, they're not going to get back to racing. Lap 6 of 12, halfway through the Turkey Hill 150. And Landon Lyons is still out front. Here comes Yepes trying to get to the inside of Derek Camel. Hamill had a chance on Lyons, could not get to the inside entering turn one. Now Yepes moves to the inside. He's going to take the second position away as Gatlin Downey moves to the inside of Derek Hamill as well. The tires are starting to wear out a little bit. Of course, there are no pit stops in this series, so the tires you get are the tires you use the entire race. 
But, uh, as you can tell, it seems to be uh, wearing out a little bit for these guys as they're slipping and sliding all over the place. We saw it with Nicholas Wade. And they're pulling it Justin Heath all the way back in here in the 38. And absolutely nowhere to go. Stuck on the outside and falling midway through the field. It's been a tough season for our defending hers Dash Series champion of Justin Heath, but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes, unfortunately, and uh, not going too well for him here today. Well, top three, still Lions out front. Now Yepes and Gatlin Downey, and I don't know if Downey's won yet this, uh, or has won yet at all in Napa Fan. I don't think he has, and if I'm not mistaken, the top three have never won before in Napa Fan. You gotta give it to Adam Lewis. I know Lewis has won someplace, and he, like I said, was the defending winner of this race, so. Lewis and Hamill and Bright and Zydell, they all have won on Napa Fan before, but the top three have never won before, so they're going for their first ever wins here. Yepes tried to get to the inside of Landon Lions, could not do so through the tunnel turn, and passing getting rather difficult at the moment for these guys, which is great news for Landon Lions, only the second different leader of this race. Justin Heath led the first two laps, but since then, it has been Landon Lyons out front here in the Turkey Hill 150. Now we got Derek Hamill clearing the nine of Adam Lewis, Eli Bright, Justin Zydell. Got Isaac Redman, our points that are looking to stay in the points lead. Of course, behind him was Keyshawn Richardson and Bruno De Barros. I don't even think he went through the points. I'm messed up. But uh, Redmond, 108 points. Keyshawn Richardson was 5 points behind. Bernadette Barros is 10 points behind. Isaac Nichols, 12 points behind. And Derek Hamill, 15 points behind coming into this race. I don't know if I said that. I don't think I did. But I'm not going back and re-recording just for that. I, I, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I just want to get this series done, to be honest. So that we can get to the Napa Truck Series and Arctic Series over the fall. Because I'm going to be a very busy man once we get to the fall. And uh, I wanted to really do those two series again. Because I really liked them last year. And I think in, uh, Landon Lyons is liking what he's seeing right now. They're side by side for a second as Gatlin Downey now moves to the inside of the Yepes. Yepes was not able to make the pass on the 18. We'll have to see if the 83 can close in in time. Here comes Lewis though. Right to the inside. He's won here before. Will he win here again at the Pocono Raceway? The inside of Gatlin Downey for second. He can't stay side by side for too long or otherwise Landon Lyons will be too far ahead in the number 18. Lyons is holding on. About Derek Hamill. He's trying to move up on Isaac Redman in the points. Came, came into this race 15 behind on the 31. And right now... He is a few positions ahead of him, so we'll have to see uh, how he can figure all that out. It's going to be two laps to go this time for Landon Lyons in the 18. Adam Lewis in the number 9, trying to close in behind him. Not really working out quite yet for him, but we'll have to see if he can get to him. Rewind back in here is the 11. Colton Yomas made it three wide to the inside of Yepes and Redmond. Could not do so. Here's our last winner, Travis Crampton, moving his way in the top ten. Great run for him after uh, getting that victory at Texas. I think Crampton moved up double-digit positions after that victory of Texas. So he's definitely uh, looking very strong right now. Downey on Derek Hamill. We're coming to the white flag, and let me tell you, Adam Lewis might be close enough to make a move here on this final lap. He might make it right now. Lions did not get off the corner very well at all, and here he comes. Adam Lewis, a lower line through turn three. He's going to have a chance. Will Adam Lewis get it on just one lap lead? We'll have to see. White flag for Landon Lions in the Turkey Hill 150 at Pocono. Very possible that number nine could get this win, but Gatlin Downey's closing in on him, and if he gets to the inside of Lewis, it's game over. Lewis trying to get a run on the outside lane. That might benefit him. We'll have to see how it goes. They draft down the long pond straight away. There's still a chance for Adam Lewis, but I do not know if he is going to get it. Lions still out front. Lewis trying to get the draft. Downey's not going to get to the inside of him, and there's still a chance. And a caution-free racer today. Great thing to see. Will Lewis move to the inside? Will Lyons move up the racetrack? He'll keep him behind. 
But this number nine's closing in. He might try to make the move, but I just don't think it's going to be enough. He has to make it now, and he will not. Landon Lyons holds on with the win at Pocono. In the HERS Dash Series, the Turkey Hill 150 going to the number 18. And I think if there was one more lap, Lewis probably would have gotten to the inside of him. But uh, very dominant race by Landon Lyons here at Pocono. Not quite what we were expecting here today. I mean, I guess you can say we were kind of expecting it. This is Pocono, for heaven's sakes. But still, Landon Lyons gets it done here at the Tricky Triangle. And uh, a little taste of what we're going to have over the weekend. with Chick-fil-A Cup Series action here for the HERS Live Life with Flavor. 400. That'll be a fun race, and it'll be better than this one, too. I think we'll have some passing for the lead and some pit strategy. I mean, last year, Caleb Hama got his final career Napa fan win, at least up to this point. He is competing in the Rockstar Pro Series now, but he got his last career win in this event. Um, in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series event here, I should say. Uh, last season, and he did it on strategy. Came down the pit lane, took fuel only on the final stop, got it ahead of everybody, and took the win away. So we'll have to see if something like that happens on Saturday morning. The land of Lions, the winner, Adam Lewis, Gatlin Downey, Diego Yepes, Colton Yo, Zachary Delello, Derek Hamill, Travis Crampton, Ashlyn Boyd, and Eli Bright, the top ten. Everybody finished on the lead lap, but uh, still, if you finish last, you only get one point. You, know, you see the results back in there. Not good days for those guys, but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. Our pole sitter, Justin Heath, fell back to 21st after leading the first two laps of this race. So, getting stuck on the outside here at Pocono, definitely not a good thing. But Landon Lyons never got stuck on the outside, and once he took the lead, he never saw another position. Getting it done here in the Turkey Hill 150 over Adam Lewis. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Next race is going to be at Nashville, I do believe. That's going to be two weeks from now. I mean, uh, Chick-fil-A Cup Series is going to be over at Nashville on Friday night. Be a night race for uh, these guys in the Hers Jazz Series as well. And uh, I also, I do believe that uh, Turkey Hill Series at IRP two weeks from now as well. So, we got a lot of uh, interesting races coming up here on Napa Fan and the NRLOI channel. I know you guys saw this on the NRLOI channel, but you, you know, it, you know it's me. It, it's not somebody else. Trust me, it's not. But anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Congratulations to Landon Lions on the victory tomorrow. Chick-fil-A Cup Series qualifying from Pocono and an all-drivers broadcast in the Turkey Hill Series at New Hampshire. Or did the race? It's an interesting one. Definitely recommend it. It's different, to say at the least. Not boring. Different. I, I think you'll enjoy it. But anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Congratulations to Landon Lyons here. The points in the HERS Dash Series after five races. And I will see you guys later.